Hello children, today we will be learning 3.4 exercise of circle chapter from class 10th. Here we have first question of 3.4 exercise. There is a circle with center O. It is given that chord AB of this figure is equal to the radius of the circle. That means this, this, this all three are equal. And what we need to find out, we need to find out angle AOB. Then angle ACB, this angle C. C is in the middle, so this angle, okay. O is in the middle, then this angle, okay, this angle. Arc AB, this arc we need to find out. And we need to find out arc ACB. ACB. Let us start. First we will begin with what is given. Given is solution. Let me write here. First point. AB is equal to radius length given. Means AB length is equal to the radius. Therefore, triangle A, O, B, all these three sides will be equal children. So, this triangle will be an equilateral triangle. Therefore, triangle A, O, B is an equilateral triangle. So, in an equilateral triangle, each angle of equilateral triangle I hope you all know it. Yes, each angle of equilateral triangle will be 60 degree. Each angle of equilateral triangle is 60 degree. Therefore, we got angle AOB 60 degree. Therefore, angle A, O, B is equal to 60 degree. So, we got the first answer. Okay. Now, we need to find out angle A, C, B. Oh. So, now for second. See, angle A, O, B is equal to arc A, B. Now you know children, this angle is a central angle. The vertex of the angle lie on the center and therefore this angle is equal to the arc AB. So we can write central angle and therefore arc AB is equal to 60 degree because measure of the central angle is equal to the arc it intercept. So we got arc AB. Now we want to find out angle AOB. I can circle it and bo uh, a box around it. Now see angle AC. AC. This is C, children. Angle ACB is equal to half of measure arc. Yes, ACB. See, this is intercepting this arc. So, ACB will be equal to half of measure arc AB. Reason is inscribed angle theorem. Theorem. Now look at this children. Both the side of the arc cut this part of the arc. So this angle intercept arc AB and it is inscribed in arc ACB. Inscribed means it lies in the arc ACB and it covers this part. So, by inscribe angle theorem, the measure of this angle will be half of this arc. 
नाउ एंगल ए सी बी इज इक्वल टू हाफ ऑफ मेजर आ के बी वी गॉट हियर सिक्सटी इन टू सिक्सटी वी कैन कट दिस इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सो हाउ मच वी गॉट ए सी बी सो एंगल ए सी बी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री वी गॉट दिस ए ओ बी वी गॉट ए सी बी वी गॉट ए बी वी गॉट ना वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट आर्क ए सी बी आर्क ए सी बी मीन्स दिस दिस आर्क वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट clear so can i use third arc ab i can write plus arc acb is equal to 360 degree reason complete circle is 360 degree isn't it the whole circle value will be how much 360 we know our kb our kb is 30 degree plus our kcb uh, our kb is sorry 60 degree our kb is 60 degree and our angle acb our kcb is equal to 360 degree now i have to shift this here so what will i get arc A C B is equal to three sixty minus sixty. Three sixty minus sixty, which is equal to three hundred degree. So R K C B also we got three hundred and sixty degree. So R K A C B is equal to three hundred and sixty degree, children. So first sum is over. You can pause the video, children, and you can solve the sum. you can rewind as many time as you want and practice many a time children 3.4 question number 2 you can see the circle here children and the circle is with center o it is given that p q r s is a cyclic quadrilateral cyclic means the vertices of the quadrilateral lie on the circle and it is also given pq is equal to rq side pq is equal to given to rq what we need to find out is angle pqr this angle middle angle see pqr you can name it from here pqr or you can say r q p both time it comes q comes in the middle so let us find it first what is given we begin from quadrilateral p q r s is a cyclic quadrilateral and reason for this is given so if it is a cyclic quadrilateral then what can we do the opposite angles will be supplementary i can say angle s plus angle q is equal to 180 degree angle s can be written s this angle plus this angle so i can write angle s as p s r p s r plus angle q can be written as p q r is equal to 180 degree psr is given 110 children see the figure so i can write 110 plus angle pqr which is equal to 180 degree 110 will shift here so angle pqr is equal to 180 minus 110 so 100 100 minus 80 minus 10 70 degree so angle pqr will be equal to 70 degree that is what was asked first we got the first one it is 70 degree now second major arc pqr this arc we want to find out now see children 
this arc we want to find out okay p q r major arc p q r is intercepted by which angle intercept means two side of this angle the end point of this arc is lying here and here that means this angle is covering this arc so we can write down angle psr is equal to half of measure arc pqr and reason is inscribe angle theorem now what do you mean by inscribe angle theorem see psr is covering this part of the arc and it is lying in this arc lying means inscribed in this arc so by inscribe angle theorem major angle psr is equal to half of the arc pqr now angle psr is how much children 110 so we can see here 110 is equal to 1 upon 2 major arc pqr 2 will go and multiply with 110 it will be 110 into 2 measure arc pqr so 220 two zeros are two ones are two ones are that would be 220 measure arc pqr we got measure arc pqr as 220 degree now we need to find out measure arc qr now we know this pq is equal to qr given let me write this here inscribe angle theorem okay let me draw the line here it is given that pq is equal to qr i can write here pq is equal to qr reason given fine so what would happen see this would be an isosceles triangle triangle pqr therefore triangle pqr is an isosceles triangle okay triangle pqr will be an isosceles triangle so base angle of this triangle will be equal let them be as x so i can say angle QPR. See how I am going. See, QPR means this angle is equal to this angle. PRQ. Is equal to X. If it is an isosceles tri isosceles triangle, then the base angle will be equal. If sides are equal, base angle will be equal. if this is an isosceles triangle children this side is equal to this side so base angles are equal and how to name them see this angle i want this this angle so this angle is touching this side and this side so i should start from here q p r this angle i should i want so i should start p r q okay so these are two base angles let them be equal to x so what can i do i can use sum of the angle of the triangle is equal to 180 that can help me to find out angle x so in triangle now it yeah in triangle pqr angle qpr plus angle prq plus c angle qpr means this angle prq prq means this angle plus angle this angle pqr pqr is equal to 180 degree we have learned in earlier classes sum of the angles of the triangle is equal to 180 degree so i can say here sum of angles of triangle is 180 degree so here x and x x plus x plus 
angle PQR uh, angle PQR is given as 70 degree which is equal to 180 degree now taking the chalk fine now x plus x 2x plus 70 is equal to 180 degree now 70 will move there so 2x is equal to 180 minus 70 children that would be 110 degree so 2x is equal to 110 so x is equal to 110 upon 2 see 2 is multiplied with x it will go to other side and divide so when i divide 2 5 is a 10 2 5 is a 10 see how i do 110 i know some children are finding it difficult to even divide 2 5 is a 10 1 0 1 0 comes here 2 5 is a 10 came 55 degree so so x is equal to 55 degree so we got this angle as 55 degree this angle also 55 degree because x value we got as 55 degree so what is that major r qr qr is which one this this arc is intercepted by this angle means two sides of this angle two sides of this angle is covering this arc so this arc is intercepted by this angle so we can say i can say here yeah, i am rubbing this children this portion i am rubbing okay so angle rpq is intercepting arc qr intercepting meaning you know it is covering okay so therefore angle R P Q is equal to half of major arc Q R and reason is inscribe angle theorem this angle is intercepting this arc but inscribed in this arc ok so angle RPQ is how much? 55 degree which is equal to half of major arc QR 2 will come here 110 55 into 2 will be 110 major arc QR is equal to 110 degree so we got major arc QR children now major angle PRQ. PRQ. We have already got children 55 degree. See QPR and PRQ are same. So here both angles are same. X value 55 degree. Therefore major angle PRQ is equal to 55 degree from we can say it as A from A and we are done with the sum children pause the video how many time you want to revise the video you can revise and you can solve the sum children children you can see on the board question number 3 of 3.4 exercise here it is given that quadrilateral MRPN is a cyclic quadrilateral. If it is a cyclic quadrilateral, you know the property of cyclic quadrilateral that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. And here if I draw the quadrilateral, we want to find out R and N. If it is M, R 
एम आर पी एंड दिस इज एम दिस इज द फिगर सपोज आई एम ड्रॉइंग लाइक दिस आई एम ड्रॉइंग अ सर्कल एंड ऑन दैट आई एम ड्रॉइंग एम आर पी एम दैट इज द मीनिंग एम आर पी एन ओके सो एम आर पी एन इज अ साइकिल कॉर्डिलेटल गिवेन एंड एंगल आर इज गिवेन फाइव एक्स माइनस थर्टीन डिग्री एंगल एन इज गिवेन फोर एक्स प्लस फोर डिग्री एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट एंगल आर एंड एंगल एन सो एज इट इज अ साइकिल कॉर्डिलेटल आई कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम यर फर्स्ट पॉइंट सोल्यूशन दैट quadrilateral m r p n is a cyclic quadrilateral and reason for this is given and therefore therefore i can use the property of cyclic quadrilateral that angle r plus angle n angle r plus angle n is equal to 180 degree opposite angle of cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary children okay r angle is how much 5x minus 13 plus angle n is how much 4x plus 4 which is equal to 180 degree Now see, five x plus four x is nine x. See this and this we can add. We cannot add them. Okay, this is x variable. This is x variable. We can add x x, but we cannot add x and number. So five x plus four x is nine x. Minus thirteen plus four. One is minus. One is plus. We have to subtract. It will be uh, minus nine, which is equal to one eighty. Now I will be taking this this side because it is minus, so 9x is equal to 180 plus 9, which is equal to 189. 9x is equal to 189. We can get the value of x here. X is equal to 189 upon 9. So we can divide it. See 189 divided by 9. 9 to 18. 0. 9 brings bring down. Nine ones are so twenty one. So we are getting twenty one x value. X is equal to twenty one degree, and x value is twenty one, not degree. Now we need to find out R N N value. R N angle N. Angle N is given four x plus four. So x value we know twenty one. So is equal to four into twenty one plus four. Four ones are four. Four to the eight plus four, which is equal to eighty-eight degree. So angle N we got as eighty-eight degree. We can write here N as eighty-eight degree, and we will be getting now angle R. Angle R is how much? Five x minus thirteen. Angle R is five x minus thirteen to five into twenty-one minus thirteen. Five ones are five. Five twos are ten minus thirteen. Hundred and five minus thirteen, children. Uh, just do like that. Minus thirteen. Three five minus three is two. Ten minus one is nine. Ninety-two. So ninety-two degree R is equal to. And here N is equal to eighty-eight degree. Ninety-two. Just add and see whether they are one eighty or not. See eighty-eight plus ninety-two, eight plus two, ten, and nine nine. This is nine. This is nine. One hundred and eighty. So children, you can pause the video and you can write it down. Practice as many time as you wish. As many time as you wish means you must not. You would not wish many time, but you should. More and more practice makes a man perfect. children now we have question number 4 of exercise 3.4 what does the sum say see o is the center of the circle and rs is the diameter this is the center 
this is the diameter okay there is a point t okay here there is a point t which is an exterior point exterior to the circle means it is lying outside the circle okay and what we want to prove you know angle rts angle rts is an acute angle let me draw the diagram properly we want to prove that angle rts is an acute angle to prove angle rts is an is an acute what do you mean by acute angle children acute means which is less than 90 degree means you want to prove that this angle is less than 90 degree okay we know that this is a diameter children again i am discussing with you this is the diameter center point t is lying outside the circle and we want to prove that angle rts means this angle is acute angle acute angle means it is less than 90 degree so let us do one construction construction uh okay let me take it as m okay when i constructed ms joint ms what is rs let us start solution first point rs is equal to diameter and it is given fine and therefore you have done construction join yeah you should write join ms okay what will be there rs is a diameter now what are you getting children here now rms therefore angle r m s is equal to 90 degree angle in a semicircle angle in a semicircle is 90 degree okay this angle is uh, this is the diameter and this is the angle in the semicircle it will be 90 degree now so we can say angle in a semicircle in a semi circle semi means half circle fine now that is 90 degree now we say in triangle mts mts in triangle mts see this angle will be 90 degree children both the side if one side is 90 degree the other side also will be 90 degree yes fine so in triangle mts angle tms now tms means what do i mean tmm s plus this angle this angle and this angle okay this angle so how to name this angle mst mst plus this angle mts angle mts is equal to 180 degree sum of the measures of angle of triangle okay now this is how much t ms 90 degree plus angle mst plus angle mts is equal to 180 degree now this 90 will move that side so what will happen angle mst plus angle mts is equal to 180 minus 90 degree which is equal to 90 degree now see here children mst plus mts we got equal to 90 degree mst means 
this angle plus this angle is equal to 90 degree means when you add both the angle then it is equal to 90 degree that means this angle cannot be equal to 90 or cannot be equal to more cannot be equal to more than 90 it would be less than 90 clear and therefore we can say angle mts mts if mts angle mts is less than 90 degree we can say na if mst plus mts is 90 degree then we can say angle mts is less than 90 degree but m i can write angle rts rts is less than 90 degree why because rmt in one line and if rts is hence proved hence proved children you can pause the video children and you can write down many a time you can write down this rewind the video and you can watch this video children Question number 5 of exercise 3.4, what does it say? We have to prove that rectangle is a cyclic quadrilateral children. We want to prove that rectangle is a cyclic quadrilateral. Let us draw the figure. This is, let us label it as PQRS. PQRS is a rectangle children. So we want to prove it is a cyclic quadrilateral. What is given? PQRS is a rectangle. Is a rectangle given. What do you want to prove? To prove, we want to prove that PQRS quadrilateral PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. We want to prove that PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. So, first we start with the given solution. First point, see, quadrilateral PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. And reason for it is given. Yes, it is a cyclic quadrilateral, it is given. Therefore, what will happen, sir? Children, each angle will be 90 degree. Therefore, angle P equal to angle Q equal to angle R equal to angle S will be 90 degree because each angle in a rectangle in a rectangle is 90 degree. Okay. So, if I take angle Q plus angle S angle Q plus angle S how much do I get 90 plus 90 is equal to 180 and uh, in a cyclic quadrilateral some of the opposite angle of cyclic quadrilateral is supplementary that means it is 180 degree these angles are opposite and if you add these two angle it is coming equal to 180 degree and therefore by converse of converse of cyclic cyclic quadrilateral pqrs quadrilateral pqrs is a cyclic quadrilateral hence proved children you can pause the video you can rewind and you can write it down children children this is question number 6 of 3.4 exercise here you can see a figure children uh, figure is of w x y triangle w x y is a triangle z y is a perpendicular line or altitude we can call at w x and x t is an altitude at w y they intersect each other at point p it is given what we want to prove WZPT is a cyclic WZPT is a cyclic and 
z t x y is concyclic what we want to prove they are concyclic what is the meaning of cyclic and concyclic concyclic means the points are there on the same circle like z t x y are the points on the same circle at the same distance uh, from the center because if they are on the circle they will be of uh, they will be away from the circle at the same distance from the center sorry from the center they will be away at the same distance so we want to prove that they are called cyclic and here wzpt is a cyclic cyclic means they also lie on the circle and opposite if you add their opposite angles that will be equal to 180 degree in a cyclic quadrilateral the sum of the angles opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to 180 degree so let us begin now children you see here x y x y is perpendicular to w x and x t not x y z y z y is perpendicular to w x and second x t is perpendicular to w y and reason is given now this also would be 90 and this also would be 90 then therefore i can say angle w z p is equal to angle w t p equal to how much w z p and w t p will be equal to 90 degree if this is 90 linear pair will be 90 degree this is 90 linear pair will be 90 degree so this is 90 this is 90 now both the angle I can add WZP plus angle WTP is equal to 90 plus 90 which is equal to 180 degree. These angles are supplementary. Angle WZP and angle WTP are supplementary. Okay. Therefore, I can say W z p t lie or uh, w z p t are cyclic w z p t quadrilateral is a, w z p t is a cyclic quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral first thing is done now we want to prove z t x y is called cyclic these points lie on circle okay now z z is the angle subtended by line x y t is also the angle subtended by line uh, x y i can write here angle z that is x z y angle x z y is equal to angle xty is equal to 90 degree subtended by subtended by line xy okay now see both angles are 90 degree and both the angles are equal see here this is the line xy and one side of the line these two angles are there see this line is there and one angle I am drawing here and another angle I am drawing here so if this is xy this angle and this angle both angle are to one side of the line and both angle are equal so I can say that z x z x y t are concyclic the statement is angle z and angle t lie 
one side of line x y and they are equal and they are equal therefore I can say point z point t point x and point y are concyclic are concyclic children you can pause and you can write down now question number 7 of exercise 3.4 children see the figure what does the question say you can clearly see here children arc ns is given as 125 degree and arc ef is given 37 degree we need to find out angle emf we need to find out angle emf okay now see we will begin solution you can see point f is right see point f is in the exterior of the circle this is your circle and point m is lying outside the circle so we can use and uh, ms is a secant and mn also is a secant both the secant are intersecting outside the circle so if the point m is outside and both the secant uh, intersect outside the circle then we can easily say write down here m is in the exterior of the circle of circle and ms and uh, mn are secant secant of circle intersecting at point m intersecting at point m at point m therefore angle EMF C EMF is equal to half of the measure arc half of the measure arc the larger arc half of the measure arc NS minus see when the angle is intersecting outside the larger arc minus the smaller arc measure arc EF okay now take half measure arc NS is how much 125 minus 37 yes 125 minus 37 1 carry from here 15 minus 7 is 8 11 minus 3 9 10 8 okay 1 upon 2 into 88 44 which is equal to how much 44 degree so angle E M F is equal to 44 degree children you can pause and you can solve the sum children now question number 8 of 3.4 exercise this is the last question sir children see here you can see chord AC and chord DE are intersecting at one point O and it is given that AOE is 108 degree arc AE is 95 degree and we need to find out arc DC this is the arc which we need to find out see earlier the sum which we solved in that the secants were intersecting outside the circle and then what we did we used half of the larger arc minus the smaller arc and here now these chords are intersecting internally chord intersecting internally so therefore what we will be taking the formula any one of the angle is equal to half of the one arc plus the half of other arc that formula we can use now see 
cord AC and cord DE intersect internally intersect interior of the circle interior of circle okay and therefore angle AOE is equal to half of measure arc DC plus this plus major arc AE okay now AOE is given how much 108 108 1 upon 2 major arc DC we need to find out plus what major arc AE is 95 degree now first we will take this up so 108 into 2 is equal to major arc DC plus 95 degree major arc DC plus 95 degree now what 2 8 is 16 2 0 0 plus 1 2 1 is 2 2 1 6 is equal to major arc DC plus 95 degree now this 95 I can move here 216 minus 95 degree is equal to major arc DC children. Now 216 minus 95 you can do it here. 6 minus 5 1 plus 1 minus 1 2 and 11 minus 9 2 1. 121 degree. It will be 121 degree which is equal to major arc. DC. So we got it children. In the previous sum the chords were intersecting externally. Now here the chords are intersecting internally and we got it as 121 degree. You can pause the video. You can solve the sum. All the sums children you need to solve many a time and you can whenever you want you can watch the video and you can solve the sums. So we are done with 3.4 exercise children. Please subscribe my channel, like it and share it. Thank you children.